Hi everyone. Today we'll be seeing about the topics goal stack plan planning, blocks world problem, means ends analysis. So uh, in uh, goal stack planning, uh, this is a very important topic in artificial intelligence. So by the name, it indicates that uh, stack concept is used here. So the stack concept is nothing but it's an important concept in data structures, which uses last in first out. So in goal stack planning also the same concept is used here. So you could uh, see here. So you could see here the actions list. There are some few functions which are uh, mentioned here. That is uh, the actions are, or else we can tell it as a functions even which is used for to pick up, then put down, stack, and unstack. So pick up is just lifting or holding something or taking up. And put down is just placing. And stack is just placing one above the other. So in this case, you're placing X above the Y. And stack is just uh, removing the X, which is placed above Y. So we'll be seeing all the list or the functions one by one, which mainly uh, uh, helps us to uh, achieve the goal state. So in pickup of X, there is a precondition. See, you can see here a precondition. So here the uh, preconditions which needs to pick up the X is the, the first precondition is when you need to pick up an item X. So you can look into this diagram. So coming to this diagram, you can see here a Y and a an X is placed above Y and there is another one block B here on the table. So Y is also on the table, B is also on the table and there is another one uh, arm which is called as, which is used for lifting. It, it can be also called as robot. So in this case, first when you tell about the pickup of X, the arm should be empty because we need, if we need to pick up X, that is this X needs to be picked up. So in that case, the arm needs to be empty. Then only we can use this arm to pick the item X up pick the block X. Then another next precondition is your X should be on the table. Your X should be on the table. But in this case, it is uh, so uh, coming, I'll mention here. The thing is your X. Uh, so this is the line and your X should be on the table. So this is X where X should be on the table. So so this when X is on the table, it is easier to pick the X using this arm and clear of X. So clear of X is just you have to see here. It's just like nothing. Now that should be uh, that should not be anything above X. Then only you can pick the X. If there is any item on the X, you cannot pick up the X and place it. So this is a precondition when you need to pick an item X. So the effect, the effect is the action, what you're going to do. Just you are going to hold the X by using this arm. Next, coming to put down of X. So now you're going to place this X on the table, okay? So how you can place this on the table by using this arm. This arm helps you to place this X on the table, okay? So your precondition is the arms arm is holding the X and the effect will be after holding the X, you have placed it here. That is on X comma table. That's now X is here. And your arm is now empty because we have placed it on the table. And now above X, nothing is there. There is, it's empty. Then comes the next condition, stack of X comma Y. So in the stack of X comma Y is nothing. That is you are placing X above uh, Y. Okay, so in this case, you are holding the X. Your precondition should be you should hold X. And another one is if that is, for example, you see here, your Y is here, and you are going to place this above Y. Okay, that is what stack of X come away. So in this case, what happens? You are going to here your your precondition another one precondition is above y there should not be anything so then only you can place this x above y okay so hold x is just the arm is holding the uh, block x and clear y is you should just 
see that there is no value or no blocks above it. It is clear. So now you can place it. So now what will be the effect now? On x comma y, that is your placed x. So now x is placed here. X is placed here and above X is there is nothing is there. So that is right. And the arm is now empty. So that is also right now. Now this is the reverse process. Unstack of X comma Y. Unstack of X comma Y is nothing. Your precondition should be because this only you are going to unstack it. So it should be like this on X, X comma Y. So this is your precondition. And above X nothing should be there. Then only you can remove this or you can Pick up this or you can hold, hold by the arm and place it down. So clear on X should be there. Nothing should be there. And arm also should be empty to take this X. Now what will be the effect now? The arm is now holding X. Then so when it holds X like it comes your Y comes here. So now your Y is here in this part. And the arm is holding X and Y is clear now. Okay. So this is the four action actions or functions which you need to know about the particular uh, uh, problem. If you want to solve any problems using these four conditions or using these four functions, you can solve the problem. So now we will be seeing how we are going to solve this or you are going to apply the gold stack into the block world problem. So how we are going to apply? So initial state, start state is you can see here, A, A and B. So both are on the table, right? A on A comma table, on B comma table. And there is an arm is also there. Your goal should be on A comma B. <coughs> that is B should be, A should be placed on A. So now coming here, you can see here now, your start state, as I mentioned, it should is A on. In table, we have, a and this table you have two blocks or place separately A and B on the table. Your goal state, your goal state should be B should be here and A should be here on A comma B. Okay. So A is placed above B. So that is your goal state. So this is your goal. This is your goal state. So how can you achieve this goal state? So by the four conditions which we have mentioned earlier, if you look into the uh, function on A comma B, so on A comma B, which we can do when you have to place this, this effect or this action can be achieved by the function called stack. So only the stack of A comma B function will help you to achieve this A on a comma b that is your goal state so call the or use the function stack of a comma b so how how we can use this function stack a comma b so this has some preconditions as mentioned in the previous uh, this has some preconditions like you have to hold a because you are going to first hold the particular a so when you are using so the preconditions of stack is holding a in previous slide, we have seen about the holding X or uh, in X, we are now putting in the place of now X is replaced by A. So holding A and another condition is B should be clear. So A should be hold and B should be clear. So in that part, see now the initial state B is clear. So this, this part is right. Actually, this part is right. But when you see this holding A, the arm is not holding A now. The arm is just on the table only. It is not holding. So that conditions become false here. In this stack of A comma B, the pre, there are two preconditions which has to make up these actions. Clear B is right and holding A is false now. So to make this hold A true, when can this holding of A can be true? When the arm, when the arm is picking up the A. Okay, when the when there is an arm which picks up this A, in that in that case, your holding of A will be true. Okay, so pick up of A. So what? So this this function has to be now called upon. When this function is called, what are the preconditions of this function? The arm should be empty. Then only you can take A on it, and then 
on eight comma table. It should be that is A should be on the table and there should be nothing placed on the table here on A. So these three conditions are now true because arm is empty, A is on the table and there is no no other any blocks are on above A. So this is also clear or this is also empty. Clear in the case it is empty. It should be empty above that empty. So these three conditions are true. When these three conditions are true, your pickup of A becomes true. When your pickup of A becomes true, your holding of A becomes true. When your holding of A becomes true, the stack of A comma B becomes true. When this stack of A comma B is applied, <coughs> your on A comma B also becomes true. <laughs> Sorry. So, these are the cases how we can achieve through the goal stack planning. Okay. So, blocks world problem can be achieved by the four functions of the whole goal stack planning. Hope you understood. So, we will move to another one example, similar one, where uh, we will be showing it using the values, okay, heuristic functions. So, the main thing, as I told, there are n number of blocks will be there and it should be a desired sequence and there should be some available moves, okay? So coming to this example, you can see here, assume that this, these are the initial states, A, E, C, D, B, D, okay? And I have started from 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So HF is minus 10 now. Here it is an initial state. And in the final state, now the final state is a, B, C, D, E. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You should get it as 10. Okay. So, first step, what you can do, you are going, because you have to get it in the A, A should be down. So, here, taking, it applies the stack concept, right? So, you have to take this only out. So, A is taken out and it is placed on the table. So, when it is on the table, your value will be 0. And now, the remaining thing you write as it is E, C, D, B, D. So, E, C, B, D or D, B, E, C, whatever it is. So, 0, minus 1, minus 2. So, now, add up the values. You can see that first you have minus 10 and now when you add it up, it is minus 6. Okay. So, your value is minus 6 here. Okay. So, next, coming to step 2. So, when you come to step 2, now the next is E, which you have to bring it down. So, E is now taken down and now A is also 0 and E is also 0 because both are on the, so now both are picked up using the arm and placed on the table. So, when you are going to place it, you should see the conditions as I told you. A, when you placed A down, there was clear of A. That is, it is empty. A is empty here. You, you can see here. So, you have placed it down. Similarly, E is also empty here. So, you can place it down, place, pick the E using the arm and you have placed it down. And the remaining will be as such C, B, D, okay? So, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Now, your heuristic function is minus 3. Now, coming to the step 3, again, C is on the top. And C is now, you can see using the stack concept, C is on the top and it is empty also. So, you can use the arm and bring the C down. So, now A is down, C is down and E is also of all A, C, E. Everything is on the table. And now you have B and D, that is minus 1 and 0. So here now the heuristic function has reduced to minus 1 now. So minus 10 we had, then we reduced to minus 6, then we went to minus 3, now we went to minus 1. Now we have only this. Now looking into this, the next is B is only empty. So now we have to take the B and place it down. So now in step 4 you see, a, already you have A, C, D, E, uh, A, C, E and uh, above D only you had B. Now you can take the B and instead of putting it, placing it on the table, your goal state is you have to place, you can call the stack function, stack of B comma A. So you are going to place B above A, okay? So you are going to place it, so just you can place it above B itself, above A itself. You can place the B above A. Now your next function is you can see all are on the table. So just you have to uh, pick it up and place it on above the particular thing. Okay. That is stack above the pick it and place it above the stack by using the stack function. So now you, are, you have D on the table. So now you have taken C and placed it above B and you have taken D and placed it above D. 
above C and E, you have placed it above D. So now see, look into the goal and the final state you have from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if we add a heuristic function will be 10. Okay. So this is how the same four functions are only applied in the block world problem. Hope you understood this block word problem and with the by using the concept of goal stack planning.